I bet you've been waiting for this day for a long time. It's been a long time since I did this Bendy, Human Bendy X Reader by Bendy Reader 666. So, without further ado, let's do this. Your POV. You wake up and quickly get out of bed. Shit, I'm late to work. Joey's gonna ride my ass now. You think to yourself, you quickly brush your hair and teeth. You throw on your uniform and head to work. Going over the speed limit, you arrive at work and quickly go inside. Once you get inside, you greet it by Joey. You're late. Why in? You're late. Your name, you're late. Joey says, I know, I'm sorry, boss, you say. Come into my office. Why in? Joey says, leading you to his office. You follow Joey into the office as he closes the door behind you. You sit down into the chair across from his desk and... Look over at the stairs. I gotta figure out a way to see Bendy. You're going... You, you think to... You think. Think to yourself. Why and why was you late this time? Joey asked, causing you to snap out of your thoughts. I didn't set my alarm last night, you say. Just as you say that you hear footsteps running up the stairs. You look over at Joey and see him looking mad. You okay, Joey? You ask. Yeah, I'm fine, but I want to tell you a secret. Joey gets cut off by Bendy running over to you. Why, and you came back! Bendy says, hugging you tightly. You smile and hug, and hug back. Well, I promise you and Boris I could come back to see you two. You say... Forgetting about Joey being in the room with you, Boris walks up the stairs and looks over at Joey. Hey, you Joey, Boris says. Why am you have to keep this a secret? You can let anyone know about Benny and Boris being real, Joey says. Yeah, why am you also can't f- forget about Joey liking you? Benny says mockingly. You okay? You ch- I mean, you chuckle and hug Benny again. Joey jumps up and grabs Bendy, yanking him away from you. He lefts he lefts Bendy up and slams him into the wall. I told you never to tell anyone that you piece of shit. Joey yells at Bendy. Joey, let Bendy go, Boris yells. You jump up and push Joey down the stairs. You then help Bendy up and slam Joey off his door open. What? Come on, come come on, you two. You're coming home with me, you say, walking out of Joey's office. The other employees look and Bendy and Boris and whisper to each other. Henry follows you outside to your car. Bendy and Boris are real, he asks. Yeah, and Joey abusing Yeah, and Joey's abusing them. You say opening the car door for Bendy and Morris. They both get in and both and butt their seat belts and buckle buckle their seat belts on you he can't do that to them henry says as you shut the car door well he is he is and i'm ending it they will the they'll live with me now instead of this office you say getting into your your car you put your seat belt on and drive home Bendy looks out the window and then looks at you. Will Joey find us at your house? Bendy asks. No, Joey doesn't know where I live. You say, pulling into the your driveway. You all get out of the car and walk inside. You too hungry? You ask. Yeah, Boris says, sitting down on the ca- on your couch. Want some pizza? You ask, walking into the kitchen. Yeah, Bendy says, jumping up and down like a little kid. You chuckle to yourself. Okay, Bendy, calm down. I'll make us some pizza, you say. Yay, Bendy says and turns on the TV. You put the pizza in the oven, then sit down next to Bendy. He flips through the channels, finding something to watch. You all end up watching the SpongeBob movie. Bendy, how old are you, you ask. 18, Boris is 20, Bendy says. You're older than me, you you ask. You older than you're older than me, you said. Well, or ask. I don't know. I guess so, Bendy says, watching SpongeBob. How old are you? Seventeen, you say. Hey, Wyan, where's the remote restroom? Boris asks. Upstairs. Ah, sorry. 
upstairs. First door on your left, you say. Thank you, Boris says, walking upstairs. Hey, Wyatt, can I tell you something? Bendy asks, looking down shyly. Yeah, of course, you say, looking at at Bendy. Ever since I met you, I, I've loved you, Bendy says, blushing and turning into his emanated form. He looks down and wags his little demon tail around. Bendy, I always love you too, you say, smiling. Bendy looks at you in shock. Really? He asks. Yes, Bendy, you say, as... Bendy turns human again and hugs you. You hug back, smiling, and Bendy pulls back and then kisses your cheek. You blush dark red and cover your face. Don't cover your face, beautiful, Bendy says, uncovering your hands from your face. He smiles. <sighs> he smiles and kisses your lips. You blush more and kiss back. Boris comes back walking downstairs and smiles. I knew you could do it, Bendy. Boris says, making you and Bendy smile. Well, this is part two. And if you don't know what Wattpad is, that's where you get all the great fan fiction in the world. Well, toodles, and hope you like and subscribe. See ya! Sorry I screwed up a little, but see ya.